Welcome back everyone to another weather at a glance video. In today's forecast, we are going to be going over our total snowfall forecast for the 2022 to 2023 winter season, all coming up in just a bit. All right, and here we have our total snowfall forecast map for the winter season of 2022 to 2023. This map is going to be showing you how much snowfall you can see this winter, depending on where you live. So let's get started with the first region. There we have our gray region there, and that is going to be our zero to one inch region. So this is generally going to be where you can see uh, zero to one inches of snowfall, according to the historical data and combined with what we kind of expect to see this year with our pattern. So again, you can see this region here outlined uh, kind of portions of uh, central Texas, Louisiana, as well as down to the deep south, we see all the way to North Carolina. Uh, this includes Atlanta, Georgia, and just south of Dallas, Texas. So not too many large cities within this region. Um, any of those cities up north there, you can see a little bit more snowfall. But um, Atlanta, Georgia, you are in this area. You're, you're about right on the line of 0 to 1 inches to about 1 to 2 inches. So uh, that's about average there. We are expecting about average snowfall there. But let's go ahead and move on to our next region. So our next region here, you can expect 1 to 2 inches. And this is going to be this region here. Um from all the way into portions of Texas and southern New Mexico, all the way to uh, portions of Oklahoma, and again, including the south and deep south there, and all the way to North Carolina. So again, this just includes north of Atlanta, Georgia, and it includes portions of Dallas, Texas. So there uh, includes Dallas, Texas, and uh, we also see areas in Arizona, kind of in these valleys here, kind of snow blocked by those mountains. So there's not a lot of uh, moisture that's going to be getting into those areas, but we do expect when these low pressure systems sink down here, we will be seeing a lot of these valleys uh, getting a good bit of snowfall, about one to two inches. And then, uh, of course, up in those mountains, we're going to see a lot of snowfall there. But then again, we see portions up into California as well. Um, a lot of these areas just very hard to reach kind of micro areas along the sides of these mountains. But as you can see, you can kind of depict where you are in that light blue region there. All right, now moving on to our next region, we're taking a look at this kind of bluish green region here. Uh, this is a much larger region. It stretches from portions of Arizona all the way throughout southern New Mexico through portions of north and central Texas here, uh, Oklahoma, and all the way through portions of Tennessee and out to North Carolina. So this is kind of our uh, breaker region here from the lightest snowfall to more of the substantial snowfall. So we're getting to about two to four inches now. This is where you can start seeing uh, some consistent levels of snowfall. So anywhere from zero to one to one to two inches, you don't really notice any snowfall falling. You're going to have very light amount of snowfall, maybe only even one snowfall event that kind of dumps out that one to two inches. But here you start to see a couple snowfalls throughout the year. You'll probably notice some snowfall. And of course, some of these areas in the north here may exceed the two to four inch region. Again, this is just a kind of a, a generalization of what you can see. So uh, don't get too mad if you do get some more or some less than what you're expecting here. But this is just a generalization. Um, up here, you may see a little bit more, but we are still expecting a little bit of below average snowfall, slightly below average snowfall in the Oklahoma area. So I do believe this is kind of the right amount that we're going to be talking about for this season. All right, now in our next region, we're taking a look at that blue region here. So we have kind of that mix between light blue and darker blue. And you can see that this is, uh, in between this goes through portions of Kansas all the way down through Missouri portions of Tennessee near Memphis Tennessee and then it goes around the Appalachian Mountains and Smoky Mountains down there and kind of heads off towards Virginia uh, just above Virginia Beach so you can see a lot of these areas here we have a lot of these valleys over in the western portions of the United States in this Keller as well uh, just on the outsides of the mountains and we also see uh, just a lot of areas uh, in Nevada in Oregon and even up into Washington we see a lot of these areas within this blue region here so a lot of areas being kind of within this region here um, but for the most part this is mainly staying over in the eastern United States now we do have some areas uh, around just east of, just east of Salt Lake City in Utah that also are part of this region so if you live in these areas uh, you can expect about four to eight inches of snowfall all right and now in our next region we're taking a look at that dark blue region this is our 8 to 12 region uh, this is going to be stretching for portions of the east coast south of Washington, D.C., around the Smoky Mountains, and then heading up through northern Kentucky uh, and areas of northern Missouri. And it's going to kind of arch over in the Great Plains here because we are seeing a lot of that warm air advection heading up through the Great Plains. So it is going to be warm at times. Of course, we are still going to see those cold surges with those cold fronts. But for the main part, we're going to see a lot of warm air moving up in here at times, uh, maybe once or twice a week. And that's kind of going to hinder that snowfall. Um, but we do see uh, that a lot of these areas just southeast of Denver, um, just right south of Omaha. And then we also see St. Louis being included in this dark blue region as well. 
Now, for our western regions here, um, it is very hard to see. You don't really see too many substantial regions with this dark blue area. We see some portions in Arizona, but the main part, this is going to be along the, the mountain sides where we kind of lead up to that big snowfall in the mountains. So, not a lot of areas uh, in the west that you can really make out, but... Uh, most of the areas over here, you can make out these areas in the eastern United States and the central United States where you can see that 8 to 12 inch mark. All right, now moving on to our next region, we're going to take a look at that pink region here. This is including portions of Washington, D.C. Uh, this is our last level for the Smoky Mountains here. So really we're expecting about 12 to 24 inches in this pink region. So that's about the last, that's about one to two feet there that you can expect for the Smoky Mountains. And that's where we're going to get the cutoff. Uh, this, then we include portions of Omaha. We include uh, just southeast of Denver. And uh, this includes Albuquerque, New Mexico. And as well, we go up here through the mountains of uh, Arizona there. We get up into the Rocky Mountains there. And then also portions of Nevada where we have those higher elevations. A lot of these areas are going to be expecting probably about 12 to 24 inches. So that's one to two feet of snowfall. Um, and it's mainly just a lot of these mountainous areas. And then, of course, when we get up here into the northern Great Plains and a lot of these uh, snow belt type regions here, uh, we see a lot of action uh, going. This includes Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania as well. And then uh, we also include this uh, portions of the eastern United States over here up in the, near New York City as well. So that's just south of New York City. So um, a lot of areas around the Philadelphia region as well. Again, I know you guys have been lacking snowfall because of that warm air that's been lingering in the mid-levels over there for the past couple winters. But I do suspect that around this year, we will see about 12 to 24 inches. Again, it's not going to happen all at once. You aren't going to see a foot of snow drop. Uh, I, I, it's it's very possible, but more than likely, you're not going to see a foot of snow drop at once. This is going to be spread out over the course of the season. All right, now moving on to our next region, we're going to take a look at that purple region. This includes portions of New England all the way down through the northern portions of the mid-Atlantic. Um, and then we go around through the uh, northern Appalachian Mountains there uh, around Pittsburgh. Um, that's just north of Pittsburgh. And then we go, we include portions of Illinois, such as Chicago. Uh, and then we kind of get into this very tight region over here where you don't really see much of that purple anymore. Now, another distinct region is over here in Nevada. Uh, this is kind of the highest amount of snowfall we are expecting in the Nevada area. So uh, leading up to this, so this is about two to four feet here. Um, and then, of course, you see the other purple regions surrounding the mountain sides there up into the Rocky Mountains and over into the Sierra Nevada Mountains over there. We see another portion of the southern Sierra Nevada Mountains that are expecting about 24 to 40 inches there um, right in this little region here. And... Um, that's kind of our consistent region here, but mainly it's over in the eastern portions of the United States. Of course, we are including those mountaintops, but the distinctive regions that we can make out over here are um, over here in the eastern portions. We also have eastern Michigan over here uh, that you can see. You can kind of make out this region here of uh, the purple region of 24 to 48 inches. All right, and in our next region here, we're taking a look at this large red region. This includes portions of Maine all the way down into portions of Pennsylvania, those Appalachian Mountains there. Uh, then we kind of hike up over uh, near Erie, and then that kind of ends there. We don't really see much of that happening in Ohio. And then, of course, we go over and we start in Michigan again. Uh, this is kind of where that lake effect snow comes into play uh, over Michigan. And then we also see portions of northern Wisconsin. Uh, then we go over here into the portions of the mountains over here. That you can kind of see over here uh, the northern Great Plains leading all the way up into Montana. This includes Great Falls, uh, Montana there. Great Falls is kind of right on the edge of that uh, red and white region. So we're, we are kind of expecting 48 to 72. That's kind of where that threshold is, but not discounting that it can go to 72 inches plus. Now we do see some of these mountaintops up in Arizona. That's kind of the cutoff there. We aren't really going to see any more than about 48 to 72 inches for those mountaintops. It's very possible, but more than likely, we're going to stay in the 42, 48 to 72 inch range there. Uh, again, we will see a lot of those mountain sides up here seeing around 48 to 72 inches. We can't really make those regions out because they uh, we'd have to zoom in really far on the map. Uh, but for the most part, this is kind of where you're expecting to see. You see up here, we see in uh, northern Maine, that 48 to 72 inch region there, uh, as well as up in New Hampshire, New York. Um, we are seeing a lot of these areas get that as well. So... A lot of areas with a substantial snowfall, this is kind of the big level of snowfall that we're talking about. And of course, we have one more region to go, but this is definitely a very large region with a lot of snowfall expected. All right, now in our final region, this is the largest region that we are going to go up because if we went any higher than this, we'd have to get very fine detailed to the point where we'd have to zoom in really close to the map for some of these areas. So we're going to stick to, uh, we're going to cut this off at 72 inches plus. Uh, so of course, you could see maybe in some of these areas, you could see 100 plus inches, maybe up to 120 inches if you're very lucky up there near the Great Lakes. Um, some would call it lucky, some would call it not lucky. It depends on if you're a snowfall lover. 
but the point is is that we're going to cut this off at 72 inches plus these include portions of the northeast and new england we're looking at uh, the great lakes region of, of course with these lake effect snowfall and then we also go into portions of uh, vermont there through new hampshire and up into maine we see a lot of these areas 72 inches plus um, and again you could see more than 72 inches this is just this is saying more than 72 inches so it's not saying you're set at 72 inches it's saying 72 inches plus so you could see again 100 plus inches more than that um there's a lot of snowfall for these areas that are expected again we go down to michigan portions of michigan due to that lake effect snowfall um and then of course much of this region the white region over here 72 inches plus is going to be for the western united states with these mountains we see the rocky mountains the sierra nevadas over in california we see a lot of these areas just covered in snowfall of course we see a lot of snowfall in these areas every year um and this year is not going to be any different we see a lot of snowfall for these areas um down into new, new mexico some of those mountains there um up into denver we see most of the rocky mountains seeing a lot of snowfall 72 inches plus and again great falls montana is right on that 72 inches plus region so take it as you wish you may be 48 to 72 inches you may be 72 inches anywhere with between those two regions you're kind of right split in the middle of those two regions now let's go over here we see uh mountains in washington um just east of seattle washington we see a lot of these 72 inches plus uh Port portland oregon is right in the valley there you don't really see any 72 inches plus but just east of you those mountains near portland oregon will see 72 inches plus and of course down here in the sierra nevada mountains so a lot of these areas are expecting substantial snowfall again not too many people live up in the mountains of course but we do see a lot of those areas those towns that are kind of in between the mountains kind of nestled in those valleys there uh you will be seeing a lot of snowfall there as well so a lot of snowfall expected for here but this is the highest region we're going to go um and as you can see that is a lot of snowfall so if you live there you may like it you may not it depends on how you want to take it me personally i am a snowfall lover i love snowfall and i'm definitely looking forward to the season um so let me know below if you're looking forward to snowfall in the comments and i will definitely be happy to hear from you i want to thank you all so much for watching today's video i would ask that you consider subscribing for more us forecast free of charge and i would ask that you consider following the weather at a glance official facebook page for more inside information and complimentary personal forecasts when you message me on my facebook page again i want to thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next video